Hey, we're getting ready to make some Oklahoma onion burgers. These are going to be really delicious. We're uh, slicing these onions up. They are going to be thin. And hey, these are going to actually be Oklahoma onion burgers. And I would think, since I'm putting onion on this beef and making burgers, and we're in Oklahoma, they have to be Oklahoma onion burgers. Now we put some SPG on these onions and kind of toss it a little bit. Hey, that'll help that flavor come out of the other. Man, onions will start sweating a little bit. Kind of like cabbage does when you put salt on it. Add a little bit more of this SPG on it. And toss it a little bit more and I believe that's going to be ready. You know, I don't think, I, I almost didn't cut up enough onion, but this is one whole onion. Now, again, this is 80-20 hamburger meat. Roll up a ball here, and I'm going to add a little bit of my dehydrated jalapenos in the center of it, and they'll rehydrate. Oh, it'll make it taste delicious. Well, I start making it into a ball, and I thought, hey, I'm going to put a little bit of my SPG in the middle of it. I'll tell you what, there's nothing better than SPG, salt, pepper, and garlic. Oh, I like more garlic than anything. We'll get these rolled up into a ball and put a little piece of jalapeno on the top so I know it's mine. Now we're going to put it in the overdrive and get these all in the ball. Well, I believe these turned out pretty good. Now all we have to do is get them out to the griddle. Get a little bit of oil down here on this grill. Get it all worked in and around there and then we'll start smashing these onion burgers. Now this one is mine. It's the one I added the dehydrated jalapeno to. Get the onions on it, smash it down. If you notice how loose and limber the onions were, that's what the SPG done to it. Um, actually salts. It makes it wilt and easier to apply. Start our second one off here, apply the onions. I tell you what, oh, when these are cooking, they are smelling good. Just like a smash burger, I smash it and hold it for about 10 seconds or so, so to get a good char. And I'm running the griddle about 425 to 450 degrees. Okay, let's speed up and get the rest of these on. Well, they're looking pretty good. Well, we made five meatballs, so we got one more to smash here and add them onions to it. And uh, we use up all the onion.
last onion burger patty here so we have five so that's what we're going to end up with of course we'll let them get good and charred and we'll flip them here in a little bit now we'll butter some buns and get them on the griddle we'll go ahead and flip these burgers while I'm at it Now I tell you what, the char on these look good. These things are going to be amazing. Now we're going to add our sharp cheddar cheese on these. And I tell you what, I love the taste of sharp cheddar. It is good. And we'll have one without cheese. This reminds me of back in the 60s and 70s when you went into a restaurant or a burger place and ordered a burger. Oh, you could smell them burgers cooking on um, that griddle and that oh they smelt so good and tasted even better i miss having a hamburger where the juices in that meat flavor that hamburger and that's what makes it wonderful when you're cooking your own at home hey and we're adding a little more spg onto these burgers These burgers got a really nice char on them. And I tell you what, that onion, they're on the bottom side, so it's not showing on the top there. So them onions are underneath. They're cooked to that hamburger underneath. And I tell you what, you talk about a nice Oklahoma onion burger. These are A number one fantastic. Well, got to get another pair of buns on here, get them uh, buttered up and ready for these last two. And hey, it'll be over. We'll be finished cooking and we can eat. Now, if you hadn't tried the Oklahoma onion burger, they're not hard to make. Slice them onions thin and get that 80-20 beef, roll it into a ball, about three and a half ounces each, I guess. And uh, you put it out there on the griddle and drop them onions on it and smash it down and hold that down for about 10 seconds or so so to get a good char. And don't forget to put a little salt on your onions after you get them sliced and uh, kind of toss them a little bit so they'll limber up. When you use them, you can just grab a handful and put them on there and they'll just wilt and lay them right on the burger. Now those two Onion burgers look fantastic, and that plate full looks even better. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, I hope you consider subscribing. I hope each and every one has a great day.